Who are you? Uh, my name is Burgesh Kumar Mishra. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from India, Delhi. Alright. Uh, hometown is Meerut. Uh, basically, uh, you, talk, you asked me about naan bread. Yeah, what's the naan bread uh, like People like naan in a different way. All right. Some of them like thick, nice, fluffy bread. Some of them like thin, some like the big. Naan bread is made from maida, which is plain flour, which got most of the, uh, most of the gluten. So when, if you are making naan bread, I get it. So this is how it rested. And how long? How long would you rest? Five minutes. Okay. I made five to seven minutes. Sometimes you rest it for two, three hours. Then. So when when you're gonna roll it once, you're gonna spread. Yeah. So it's already rested. So when you're kneading the dough, there are two stages. First, you knead the dough with water, and in the middle, when you know the dough is finished and the dough is not finished, then like in the middle somewhere, you leave it, leave it for five, ten minutes. Let it rest. Let the water, you know, some particles which haven't soaked the water, they will soak the water. Leave it for a while and then come again. It's called knocking the dough afterwards. Then you knock the dough again. When you knock it, you punch it out. Yeah. Completely nice fluffy dough and leave it, turn it over with a damp cloth, leave it for a while and then make the balls, lay it on a tray with some oil on the top. And some people they add a juan, some people they add onion seeds, right. some people they add uh, sesame seeds on the top of the naan bread. Yeah, garlic. Garlic. Yep. Yeah, different way with garlic okay. and uh, kima. So many things can yeah. be made. Then make parathas. Uh, if you know about uh, South Indian paratha, lacha paratha, we call it lacha paratha. Right. They call it paratha. This paratha. Yeah. For them, paratha is a small way. Uh, very interesting fact. I see. So, so when you roll it out.
stick on that, on that uh, preheated marble yeah. and put the marble inside. So the marble will, it will it damage the marble? Will it break? Or yeah. uh, have you, you done have it? Have, you have to have a nice marble, not those ones which are going to break in the heat. They are some marble, they can right. resist the heat. If people don't have marble, okay. you can break All right. Preheat the brick, big brick, preheat it. So not to use the oven tray, not to use those. You can use. You can also. You, you can make a non bed or a tower as well. Right. You just have to put wood on the bed, so they stick. Very very hot tower. Okay. Put it on the top. It will stick there, and then turn it over on the fire. So you get the back like a, like you see in the clay oven pot. Yeah. Right, so the key, the key is the heat to make it as hot as possible. One non, you know, in the tandoor there's temperature is 450 degrees or 600 degrees. Right. Above that, right, 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 some right. tandoor they, they have to find more heat than that. In India, if you go, it's so much heat. And they sit on the top, and in India, how they design in the big places, they have a whole working surface and they have holes with the tandoor inside. They sit on the top. Right, right. 600 degrees inside. A cube, and a non should not take more than 40 to 50 seconds. No more than It should be as quick as that. Wow. that. Because the people who make it in non beds, they have like, if, if, a, if a tandoor can occupy 20 nons, they put 20 nons, and as quickly as they put 20 nons, they start taking out the first out. one. I get it. And this is how they make it because it should be really, really quick. Okay. Um, thank you very much for sharing your recipe secret. Not many people would give away their secrets. Um, once again, can you tell me who you are? I'm Durgesh Kumar Mishra. I'm a chef and a foodie, basically. I, I love food. And where are you from? You said Delhi. Delhi, yes. And how long have you been here? Uh, I've been here like five and a half years. Yeah. And you're very passionate about food, but also from why I'll give you a call and thank you. If I can use some of this, okay. I'll put it on my YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless you. Huh? See you. Bye bye.